What is the key to a successful sales funnel? Well, it's not the products that you offer. It's not the services that you offer. It's not the price points that you offer. The key to a successful sales funnel is your mailing list. And that might seem a bit odd, but think of it as the start of your sales funnel. Because without a mailing list, nothing else happens. So why is your mailing list so important? Well, first and foremost, it enables you to keep in regular contact with your prospects and customers. You know the old saying, out of sight, out of mind. So if you're not in regular contact with your prospects and your customers, they're likely to forget all about you and they're going to go and purchase from somebody else. So you're going to lose out to the competition. Now you're going to need more than one mailing list. And that's because once someone makes a purchase, you want to move them from the prospects list to the customers list so that you know that people who have already bought from you are going to have more trust in you. So you're not going to have to sell quite as hard to them as you do to the prospects who've only got your freebie. And there are some marketers who go even further and have a separate list for each stage in their sales funnel. So once somebody has bought the low or a mid price product, they get moved on to a separate mailing list and they start being offered the high price products. And then when they bought those, they moved on to the higher price products list and so on. So at each stage of the game, they're moved over so that they only get offers that are more expensive and offer better value for money. OK, now let's just take a look at how the whole process works. And I've put together a diagram that explains it. And it works a bit like this. First thing that happens is a prospect visits your website and orders a freebie. So they go to your squeeze page, as it's called, and uh, they get the information and they enter their name and their email address in. and that gets added to the mailing list. So then they get sent the download link to the freebie and they've got the uh, freebie and they should be happy. Then the prospect is sent lots of useful information. Now this is part of the process that a lot of people get wrong. They think that all they have to do is keep hitting their mail list with sales information with sales things you know buy this buy my product buy this product buy this affiliate product and it turns people off so what you want to do is you want to make sure that people know that they're going to get a lot of information from you for free in addition to the freebie that they've been sent and exactly how often you send this out is going to depend on your niche is going to depend on how you operate but as a a sort of um, a general rule you want to send probably two or maybe three pieces of free information to your list for every one sales email that you send so once that's done your prospect is sent information about your low priced product so you send that with the sales link now if they buy and to be honest, most people won't buy on the first contact for an offer. You keep them on the prospect list and you send them information about affiliate products and other low price products until they actually make a purchase. And of course, you keep sending them all the useful information as well. So then you get to the point where the prospect actually does buy something. So when that happens, the customer, which is what they now are, is removed from the prospect list and added to the customer list. Now, some mailing systems will do this automatically. On others, you'll have to do it manually. It just depends uh, which system you're using. I'll talk a bit more about that in a moment. Then, of course, the customer gets sent 
useful information. Same sort of rate. And of course the customer then gets sent information about your high price products and also about affiliate products at the same sort of price range. And again you just simply rinse and repeat all the way through your sales funnel. So this is an ongoing process that uh, keeps going on for every stage in the sales funnel that your prospect or customer is at. Now the key to working your mail list and sending all these emails out are programs called autoresponders. And an autoresponder enables you to send automated emails to your list. So you don't have to email each customer or prospect individually. The software takes care of it for you. And you can set it up to send emails on certain dates or so many days after the last email. And you can also send one-off emails to your list. And some popular autoresponder companies are Aweber, which you can find here at aweber.com. GetResponse, which you'll find here at getresponse.com. And MailChimp, which you'll find here at MailChimp.com. Now, each of them have different pricing structures and are slightly different in the way that they operate. But the basic principle behind all of them is pretty much the same. Now, one thing that you'll need to decide at the beginning of your dealings with an autoresponder company is whether you want double or single opt-in. Now, let me explain the difference between the two. With single opt-in, the prospect gets added to your list without any verification. Now, you'll get more names on your list that way, but not all of them will be genuine. Some people will put in a fictitious name, a fictitious email address just to get your freebie. They don't want any follow-up emails, so you don't know whether it's a genuine email. Also, it leaves you open to accusations of spamming because somebody might maliciously sign somebody else up to your list. They get hit with all sorts of emails from you that they haven't asked for and then they complain and you're branded a spammer even though you're not, you're a legitimate business person but you're going to be branded a spammer because this person has not asked for the uh, information to be sent. So these days, double opt-in gets to be pretty much the default setting. And what happens with double opt-in is the prospect gets sent an email with a confirmation link to click. So click confirm, then there are no further emails. And you don't get quite so many names because some people can't be bothered to confirm. But if you don't get any spam complaints either, because you know that it's a genuine address, you know that the person has uh, asked to receive the emails from you and has confirmed, and if they complain, you can go back with some systems and look it up and see, ah, oh, well, you signed up on X date and you confirmed on Y date, so therefore it's not spam and you can prove it. So that really sort of uh, covers your backside, so to speak. And as I said, double opt-in is becoming the default settings for most autoresponder companies.